You guys should see his head start coming in right around over here pretty soon. This snake will not hesitate. He's gonna come in here, see the food, he's gonna go straight down the strike bar, right there, and he's gonna go after this food. And we have two gerbils in there for him. starting a shed cycle soon, so he could be a little bit tentative on coming over here and taking this food. But actually, I think right now he's made his decision that, yeah, he's going to come over here and eat. So, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get him coming in. Yeah, he's going to waste no time. He's going to waste no time at all here, guys. Try and bring this tripod down. I want to try and get us a good shot here as well. So, he's moving in quick. This snake is unlike a red tail boa. Red tail boa will stalk. Sometimes when I film these with my red tail boas, it takes hours for them to come and make their strikes. They are very, very tentative, more of an ambush, and those snakes really do. Uh, Oh, he sees him. He sees him. He's going to make a beeline real quick. Actually, I'm going to pull this up and give us a nice overhead shot because we got the high definition underhead. Oh man, good job. Just barely got the camera into position for that. Oh man. He knows the legs are not the head. He knows he can't take this food down any way but the right way. I want to see him grab it from behind and recoil it. That's what I want to see. That would be freaking awesome. Look at that. Wow. With authority. Now he's going to rewrap it. That was freaking awesome.